hey guys in this video we are going to see how to send a whatsapp message in ios application here i'm going to just create an ios application in xcode and say in the product name as whatsapp sender or something like that then here you have to select the storyboard click shift as the language i'm going to just create that here first thing first we have to add some layout components that allow us to send that message i'm going to firstly say text field that user can enter what is the message that we want to set let's uh, provide some constants top as 12 left right 12 all right i'm going to just add the send button now this will start whatsapp application and then send that message that means it will start that conversation and user can click the send button i'm going to say send now we need constraint to this too all right now we need to connect this text field with our view controller go ahead and click on this assistant otherwise you can open by pressing this icon add editor on right and then click on the left side again here you can select that uh, file as path selection now uh, we have to just drag this connection text field as a outlet i'm going to select the outlet here and then uh, text field id as text msg edit like that now let's go ahead and add this send button connection to our class here we have to press control in the keyboard then drag to here make sure you selected the action as the connection i will say the name as bt and send type as ui button also all right now that is it now we can uh, go ahead and do programmatically sending we need to go ahead and create a new variable for us to our count record of message receiver that means maybe our phone number country record i will set this equals to double quotations inside this our country code is 94 right for sri lanka if you want to find your country code you can go ahead and google search what is my country code is i will put some comment here the thing is you can also find these completed code in the video description if you don't like to watch the complete video you can uh, simply skip then go for the code but here i am explaining one by one now we need to store our phone number as a variable i will say var mobile number set this equals to let's say this is my number we can add some comment here mobile number all right here we have to go ahead and create a new variable that allow us to open the whatsapp the official link url string is equals to inside double quotations we have to say https colon hash hash this means four slashes api dot whatsapp dot com for slash send and then caption symbol then we have to set this equals to firstly this country code we can pass that country code to here by saying backslash parentheses now inside of parentheses we can say country code all right secondly we have to add this number after our country code to that we can say backslash again here then parentheses now we have to say mobile number which is this variable okay 
and then if you want to pass some message to that link we have to get that message from here let me go ahead and add some placeholder to my text field enter message that you want to send okay now I am going to just open my code again here we can say ampersand to pass next value value type as text this equals to now this message in this variable in this uh, outlet we we have to create a new variable for that let msg equals to text message edit this one dot text if that's empty we can pass just simple string like this all right here i will say backslash parentheses inside that this msg okay now in the below i will say let url string encoded is equals to url string this one dot adding percent encoding inside parenthesis we had to say parameter type as with allowed characters here I will pass in dot URL query allowed okay and then we can create the URL type of variable I will say let URL is equals to in s u r l and then parentheses we have to say a string colon type of that para argument i will pass in url string encoded now all right now uh, we have to say exclamation mark to say because we know we have a link here there are no nil values then we can use this exclamation mark now we have to say if ui application dot shared dot can open url inside parentheses we have to say what is the url is which is this one it is checking whether can we open this url or not I will say exclamation mark here because we know there are uh, some value in this URL there are no nil values then I will say this as URL now add braces after the parentheses now we can just print something that uh, open in WhatsApp if you want but in my simulator there are no whatsapp then we can just print something opening whatsapp okay and here after the parentheses we can say ui application dot shared dot open and then now below of that we can say ui application dot shared dot open now inside parentheses we have to say this url we are taking this as and then exclamation mark url now comma we can separate this with comma now we have to say options colon now i will say square brackets inside this colon okay now after that parentheses we can add braces here i will say status in let's print something in this braces 
I will say opened a WhatsApp chat. All right, and else statement for this if statement I will say else then print something can't open something like that all right now let's go ahead and see how this works now I'm going to type some message hello there like that and then click send now you can see it tries to open the browser because we don't have any whatsapp app in the simulator also you can see this hello there message is visible so that means if user have installed whatsapp that particular conversation for this phone number will be open also this hello there message or particular message will be available in the type box that you can otherwise that user can send all right i hope you can clearly understand how to process this and if this helps please subscribe to my youtube channel and click the notification bell icon thank you